So just gonna choose maybe three problems and go over, go over this problem. They, they're a little bit more difficult than the other ones. So here's log base three of 12 to the five six. Is that what bothered you? To the five six, x to the ninth. This is to the ninth power. So what's the first thing we can do here? Yeah. Yeah, separate them. So we'll take log base 3 of to the 5, 6, right? Then what? Good job. Plus log base 3 of x to the ninth. Now what? That's right. Move the exponents out, right? This is rule number three. So move the exponents out here into here, right? So rewrite this one more time, and we're going to get 5 sixth log base 3 of 12 plus 9 log base 3 of x. Is that all right? Not bad, right? The next one that we did. It's just weird because you have to remember some rules of radical of, uh, of rational exponents and radicals. So look at this for a second. The next one is log base 2 of the square root of 4x. <clears throat> Tell me something about this. The square root of AB can be rewrit rewritten as what? Nicely done, Kamari. Square root of A times the square root of B, right? Prove that by doing something like, I don't know, 36, square root of 36 is equal to the square root of 4 times the square root of 9, isn't it? We simplify that a lot, that would come out to be true, wouldn't it? <coughs> so what can we do here? Rewrite this as log base 2 of square root of what? 4, good job. Pl right, so that makes it plus, doesn't it? That's rule number, that's good job. That's rule number 1, right? Log base 2 of square root of x. Well, what is the square root of 4? 2. So we can simplify that. What is log base 2 of 2? Right, this question is 2 to what power equals 2? It's just 1. Good job. So rewrite that as 1 plus, check me out here, log base 2 of we can put this in a different form, can't we? Instead of putting it as a radical, we can put it as, nice, x to the 1 half power. That's beautiful, perfect. So 1 half power, now what? Perfect, right? Roll this thing out to here rule, using rule number 3, right? So our final solution should be 1 plus, whoops, plus what? Log base 2 of x. Perfectly done. All right, so here's your answer. Is that all right? Okay, good. Let's do the last one. How are we doing? Oh, good. The one, that's a really good question. Right, we were up here. We separated this out. Remember, so we had square root of 4. What's the square root of 4? 2, and now we're going to answer this. Log base 2 of 2 is a question, and the question is 2 raised to what power is equal to 2? 2 to the first power, that first power is this one right here. Okay? Nice work. All right, here's the last one. Let's see if we can get one more done here. The last one is this one. I haven't done this one either, so let's look at it together. Log base 8. One thing I have to tell you is when I see this, when I see the base, Quincy, as soon as I look at the base, I look at the next number and I ask myself, does it have anything to do with 8? Or has, does the base have anything to do with this number? And it looks like it might, right? So first, we're going to separate this out into two pieces. What are the two pieces? Right, so we have log base 8 of 64. Good. Log base 8 of x to the second power. Let me ask you this question. Is 8 to some power equal to 64? What power? Second power. So this is just 2, isn't it? Another way you could do this, Quincy, is you could take this 64 and call this 64 8 squared. That's still 64, isn't it? Then you can ask yourself the question, 8 to what power is 8 to the second power? 2, right? So this, we can simplify this. This just equals 2, doesn't it? And now what are we going to do with this piece over here? Exactly. You've gotten much better at this. Really good at this, actually. And this rolls out to here, doesn't it? Yeah?
Here? You're going to put this two here, right? Where? Here? You could do that. Hold on a second, Quincy, because I want to talk about that. You could definitely do that. You could roll this two out here, right? So, so let's pretend we did that. We said, okay, we'll put the two here. Then you have this question. What is log base eight of eight? One. And what is two times one? That's really, really smart. That's really clever. Yeah, Alex. Did it work out the same? Hold on one second. Let me, let's finish this. And then, because that's a question really worth talking about. Hold on a second.